The city of Olympia is trying something new that no other city in our region has done before. It will allow RVs to stay parked on a city street indefinitely if its occupants abide by a set of rules. Fox 13's Matt Markovich joins us now. So, Matt, how will this work? This is Ensign Road, right next to St. Peter's Providence Hospital in Olympia, where RVs have been parking illegally for years. But now something new, permitted RV encampment parking on a public street. It's cleanup day along a half mile stretch of Ensign Road. I'm just trying to, try you know, get clean out all the all the, the garbage from, you know, people just coming through and, and, and trashing the places and not caring whose they are. Zach was cleaning an RV for a friend before it was towed out of the way. You see, the city's not impounding any of these RVs. In fact, they're trying something new that no other city is doing. They're permitting them to stay. We are changing this zone to permit parking only, and I am giving out the permits. Kim is the homeless response coordinator for the city. Heads up a small staff of four people. Shelter space is at a premium, not enough for everyone along the road, which has become a de facto RV camp for years. I've been um, homeless out here in, in Olympia for about 15 years now. I really appreciate all that Olympia is doing for us. Now 40 of these RVs and their occupants have received a free permit to stay. Everyone agreeing to new rules. Less trash, no dumping into the storage drains, not just sewage, but any other liquids. And then um, any aggressive behavior will be an immediate revocation of their permit, um, but they can always appeal it. It's an experiment, an appealing one to Matt, who just showed up but did not get a permit. I really wish I could find more streets like this or places like this in, in the state of Washington. All this garbage and everything, I can see why the city is, is disgusted by it. I mean, it, I'm disgusted by it. I don't, I don't even want to be around here, but this is where I've ended up, you know. After the big clean, the city will provide a sewage tank waste removal service once a month, porta potties, dumpsters, and a reverse of the traditional time limit rules. If a permitted RV is unoccupied for more than 72 hours, the permit is pulled. Typically, if an RV stays in Olympia more than 24 hours, it can be ticketed and towed. We're not like taking their home away from they're just not allowed to park here. The encampment's closest neighbor, St. Peter's Providence Hospital, told us we have been advocating for a few years with the city of Olympia and Thurston County on a compassionate solution and an end to the encampment on Ensign Road. We hope the permit system limits or stops growth for this difficult situation. I think it's a great idea. I, I really do, you know, that we can keep track of every, everybody that's coming through here, you know. And the hospital says it's seen an increase in violence in the encampment over the last two months. We'll be watching closely how this all plays out as other cities in the region will be doing the same. In Olympia, Matt Markovich, Fox 13 News.